morning, welcome back to my channel. Today's freaking Monday, hanging out with my pal over here, Fangs. Right, Chloe? Say hi. Chloe, say hi. Hey, Chloe, what's going on? Chloe, what's up? What the? What the? Let's go. Cut the, cut the. What? Are you looking at me like that? Chloe, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? So what I want to do is I want to start working on the third installment to this project here. I'm going to be installing more consoles right there in that spot. Ow, 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 my toe, my freaking toe! That's bullshit! So what I want to do here is on the bottom, I want to put the original Wii right there. And then I want to put the, uh, the TurboGrafx-16 on that side. So then I want to put a second level, the Dreamcast and the Sega Saturn right beside it. Because I'm gonna need a little bit of room on top so the covers can open and then at that point we'll see where we are uh if we might, hopefully we have room i mean we should have room but hopefully we have room for another console uh we'll see where that goes on that that's where i stand right now in this process So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this so I can see exactly where the other end of this piece is, because I can't see back there. It's too dark, plus it's just really like, there's not much room. So I'm gonna use this little mirror that I bought at the dollar store to see where I'm at. I want to make sure I am right above it. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it is as lined up as it seems to be before I blister it. If you look there, you can see uh, the Wii's got his little uh, compartment there and the TurboGrafx-16 has got its little compartment there. Now the next step is to set up a couple of consoles here, take the measurement for the height and the splitter as well. So I need, right now it's eight inches, so I'm gonna give it a quarter of an inch to lift it and pull it up. So that's where I stand, eight and a quarter. Uh, and the room I actually have available here would be is eight and a quarter. <laughs> After I put the splitter, so I need eight and a half inches for a console, and at the nine mark is where I put the splitter. All right, so I got a Dreamcast, which is gonna go right here, and then with the top open. All right, so now with the top open, and the Dreamcast and the Hyperkin is in there, now I can see uh, the height requirement for the Dreamcast is almost eight inches. So basically, I'm not gonna lose much room by putting these two together. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it like this, and I'm going to get a slab to go across the top, and also a splitter. Let's go outside and cut this. A few moments later. It looks like now um, we're, I've already cut this, so it's ready to be put the top part on. So what I'm gonna do is I have to take a measurement here to see where I'm gonna put the splitter to give enough room. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure from here. So I'm looking at eight and a half inches. All right, so the next step is to secure it to this side as well. I'm gonna take the measurement and where the hell did I do with my tape measure again? Oh, okay. You stupid. Right. So 
what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little washer to go up against the inside of the screw head. The reason for that is when I screw this in, this actually starts to tear up all the freaking paint and everything. So that's the reason why I've been adding this to it. So what happens is it gets nice and close to the wood. And then when it gets that close to it, it this part here won't scratch around and destroy the layer of paint that I have there. It'll be just right so it will just sit up against it. That's what that black wash is going to do. It's going to prevent it from rubbing up against the side, you know, the inside of the screw. All right, so you can see here that I got enough room for both consoles. I can also put the wires in on the sides of the Hyperkin. I'm not a big fan of the fact that they put those on the sides, but I guess if you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. So this is all set. This is all set. I'm going to drill a hole in the back over there for the cables. Now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this room here. All right, so now that I moved this part over, I'll be able to install the Neo Geo right here, which will be great since it doesn't need a top loading cartridge and the way it fits I think is really good it's just perfect exactly how it needs to fit with plenty of access to what I need all right so let's stop putting the HDMI cables in Yeah, so I still got like seven more consoles left. Section three, I mean the touch up obviously is gonna have to be last. Section three is done, you got one, two, three. The next one is gonna be right there in the bottom. That's gonna be the 64, that's going to also be like the Saturn is gonna be there. I wanted to put the switch right there, but the problem if I put the switch there, there's not much room. Thing is, it, it, it kind of hides it, you know what I mean? So that's the reason why I'm not too crazy about it. I don't really wanna hide the console, so I'll have to see what I'm gonna do, but I, I know I can put the, the mini in there so i'm getting closer and closer to completing it so i'm very happy part three is complete now now we can start moving on to the fourth installment all right so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already share my videos and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to love like boom i am a prodigy i am a leader they follow me